to our wall to wall coverage here of Super Tuesday in the primaries and how things are shaking out going to the race for Stockton mayor right now. And uh, Tom Patty uh, solidly in the lead where he has been all night with 34% of the vote. Yeah, he is a member of the County Board of Supervisors. He has served that area since 2016. Well known in the area, grew up in Stockton. And you can see Christina Fugazi in second place there with 24% of the vote. Uh, she spent nearly 30 years in that area as an educator and extensive public service experience on the Planning Commission, eight years as a council member. So you've got two very experienced uh, people in the lead in the top two positions Absolutely. here. Absolutely, so if no one gets 50 plus one, uh, percent, then we'd see the top two go to November. All right, let's check in with Orko Mana. He is live for us in Stockton. Orko? Yeah, Edie, we are here at Vote Central, essentially, here at a warehouse near the Stockton Airport. And it's been very busy here all night, especially in the last few minutes. We just got another batch of ballots that just were brought in here. You can see that there are these little gray bins that have wheels on them. They've been wheeled in all throughout the night. We just got a shipment in, again, just in the past 10 minutes or so. Coming in here as these folks here, a mixture of election workers and volunteers, work to count those ballots. And they are busy. We have people in green bibs who are basically transporting the ballots and people in blue bibs just monitoring everything, making sure everything goes smoothly, watching to make sure those ballots don't have rips or tears in them. They have a lot of work to do as they count through all of these ballots. We spoke with the Registrar of Voters just a little bit ago about making sure that they count them and what that means for results. Tonight, what you'll see was that first release of results was everything received through Saturday that was a vote by mail, and then everything that was early voting up to yesterday evening, and then the 10 o'clock results will be partial uh, polling locations, and then we're hoping that last, we ho we're hoping for two more, one at 10, one at midnight, with all of the poll results for today for all live in-person ballots. Again, counting those votes, which is happening here behind me, just to give you a perspective of how many votes have been counted. We're looking at these black bins over here. This is, again, just another indication of how many votes have come in, but we know there are several more votes to be counted. You guys were talking about the Stockton mayor's race. Right now, across the county, there are only over 14% of all votes counted, so there's still a lot more to go through, a lot more to process until we get those final numbers. For now, reporting live in Stockton, Orko Mana, KCR. Three news. Yeah, just really important to keep that perspective. Yes, yeah, so the numbers can shift. Absolutely. And with that in mind, let's go to get some uh, more Stockton numbers here for you right now in the Stockton City Council race. Uh, District 2 here, Maria Laponce uh, with a sizable lead over uh, her rivals there in District 2. There are some other tighter races going on in the Stockton City Council, and uh, we can show you some of those right here. Here's the one that's uh, really close. District 4, Mario Enriquez, 31%, and Gina Valadez Bracamonte just uh, uh, four tenths of a point off that. So yeah, that is an interesting vote. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Look at that. Okay, so I think we might have one more here to show you in District 6. Uh, also, uh, somewhat close, but nowhere near as close as that other race in District 4, Jason Lee, with uh, a six point lead over Kimberly Warmsley, the incumbent right now.